in the setting of relapsed refractory Hodgkin lymphoma, and again, particularly when we focus on a patient who has relapsed or refractory disease following their frontline treatment, I would say for the most part, we're, we're using a one size fits all approach, uh, where we've, most patients will get some kind of combination treatment to try to get them into remission. And then we would consolidate their treatment with an autologous stem cell transplant. Now that we are uh, treating patients differently in the frontline setting, where patients are getting potentially pet adapted approaches, where they Many of them are getting a reduced course of chemotherapy or sometimes avoiding radiation therapy. The patients who are relapsing or, or have refractory disease may not be as heavily treated as patients were uh, traditionally in the past. Um, and, and because these patients are not as heavily treated, it's possible that they don't necessarily need as much of an aggressive approach in the second line therapy, in the second line setting. Um, so one of the things that I, uh, that we're looking at as far as in the context of clinical trials is whether we can even avoid um, transplant as part of the second line treatment. And um, we, there's a study that we're currently running at, at Song Kettering where it's focused particularly on patients who are, we would consider to be at the, the most favorable group. So these are patients who uh, initially had early stage disease and then they relapse with early stage disease and they're still eligible to receive radiation therapy. And on that study, we are, are treating those patients with just four cycles of pembrolizumab followed by consolidation with radiation therapy. And the main question is, is, are there, is there a group of patients that can actually avoid uh, the uh, typical aggressive approach that we use in the second line setting, such as use of an autologous stem cell transplant. And potentially what my hypothesis is that there are some patients that can avoid it. And, and for those patients who do have their disease come back after using a more mild approach, I, I believe that there's still the opportunity to potentially use um, the more traditional combination treatments and, and autologous stem cell transplant potentially in the third line setting. Um, and so I think that as far as the unmet need, it's it's more, I think that we need to start moving towards a more personalized approach to relapse and refractory disease. And, and potentially not everyone needs a, a, a very aggressive approach. There's, I, I think that we need to start identify patients that maybe can get away with a, a less aggressive approach and potentially start considering moving these more aggressive approaches later on in the treatment um, schema for, for only those individuals who need it.